We're learning new information tonight about a volcano explosion on New Zealand's White Island earlier this week. Six people have died and at least 30 are in the hospital. A Virginia couple is among those severely burned. 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba has the story. That Virginia couple recently got married. They were on a Royal Caribbean cruise celebrating their honeymoon. Now their family says this excursion should have never happened. Tour boats raced away from New Zealand's White Island Monday. People on board terrified as they watched this volcano erupt, sending ash and smoke into the air. New Zealand police say 47 people were on the island during the volcanic eruption. Among them, nine Americans, including Lauren and Matt Yuri, a newlywed couple from Richmond. They were on the Royal Caribbean cruise celebrating their honeymoon, both of them now dealing with severe burns from the explosion. Their family members desperate for answers after Matt's mother received this voicemail from him. This isn't a joke. The volcano actually erupted while we were on the island. Lynn and I got pretty badly burned, so we're at a hospital in New Zealand. My hands are burned, so I can't use my phone. Lauren's parents, Rick and Barbara Bierum, devastated about what happened. The two preparing to board a flight to visit their daughter in New Zealand. This was ridiculous. It was absurd. Paramedics rushed to rescue people by boat and by helicopter. So far, New Zealand police have confirmed six people have died. Eight others are still missing and there are no signs of life on the island. If had my daughter known that there was any risk involved, she wouldn't have gone. Recently, geologists warned about an increase of volcanic activity on the island. It leaves Lauren's parents wondering why people were allowed to visit the island in the first place. This was an accident waiting to happen, and it happened. A tragic accident during what was supposed to be a fun trip to celebrate their marriage. Police in New Zealand say at least 30 people are still being treated at different hospitals. And at this point, the eight people still missing are presumed dead. Police have not confirmed if there will be a criminal investigation. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.